The Titanic was insured for one million pounds, which is about $145 million in today's world. That made the sinking of the Titanic one of the costliest marine disasters of its time. Now, the Titanic was insured with co-insurance. It had 70 different insurers, all responsible for a small amount of the risk. This was actually really beneficial because it allowed the ship owner to diversify risk. It meant that if one or two, maybe three of those insurers weren't able to pay out, they didn't feel completely screwed over because all the other insurers would be able to provide some money. It was also really beneficial for the insurers because it meant that one in particular insurer didn't have to cover the whole cost, which probably would have put them into bankruptcy, especially since the premium was set pretty low because of the unsinkable nature of the Titanic. Now, I'm really curious to know if any of these insurers had reinsurance. And if you don't know what that is, make sure you learn about it in the video I've linked right down below.